Well, it only lasted a couple of weeks before the sidewalks got blocked here again. This guy's trying to parallel park and his front bumper's under the spare tire. I came downtown to Pioneer Place, but the Bitcoin ATM is no longer here because the food court is under construction. Come to find out, uh, they temporarily moved the ATM to the Clackamas Town Center Mall, which is annoying because I was there yesterday and did not know it was there. Well, a few more people are getting together again today, and we're gonna go for a push down here on the waterfront area. Most of them use manual chairs. I'm in the power chair, so I'm not here for exercise. I'm just here to troll. That's not for another hour. And I need something to eat, so I'm gonna try and find some food down here. I don't know if there's a Mexican place. Oh, there's a Taco de Mar right up this way, I think. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find that. Well, I wound up going to Burger King instead. No tacos, but hot dogs. Their hot dogs are pretty good. Although I should clarify, it's hard to screw up a hot dog. And they don't usually make you sick. Well, that's the first time I've left a Goodwill because it's too busy. It was crazy in there. I mean, it is Sunday, but there was not room to move at all. Today I'm headed out to the mobility store again. This new chair that I have, we're finally going to have someone else take a look at it and see if we can fix the problems. I'm going round and round with taking their time and uh, trying to figure out if it's actually broken and all this stuff. So they just told me to take it to the dealer, which is fine. Uh, so I'm gonna head over there, I'm gonna meet my other friend who's the technician for that company. And we're gonna make a list of parts that are needed and hopefully they'll just ship them out so we can get the thing fixed. Because it's new and I shouldn't be having the issues that I'm having with this thing. All right, back at the mobility store again. We'll see if we can get this thing sorted out. All right, well, I don't want to badmouth anyone or any companies, but I just got done at the mobility store and the technician that took a look at this chair, his opinion was basically the chair should be sent back and either completely replaced or completely gone through and have everything looked at and gone over and fixed. We found a couple other problems that I didn't even know were going on while he was looking at it. This is gonna be the deciding factor to see whether they are going to fix it or not. Because at this point, there's so many things wrong with this chair that makes it unsafe that really I shouldn't even be using it right now. But I don't have anything else to use at the moment, so Hopefully by the end of this week, uh, we'll get all the information put in and we'll have a decision hopefully this week or hopefully this week or early next week, but we shall see. Since I'm already out here on the east side, I've come back over to the Clackamas Town Center Mall where they have the new Bitcoin ATM. I was out here a couple days ago, but unfortunately I did not know the ATM had moved from downtown. So I'm gonna head inside here and uh, see if we can find the thing. Well, the ATM said it's out of cash. I texted the owner of it. He's gonna be here in about a half hour to refill it, so 
I'm gonna grab some food and hang out. All right, we're good to go. ATM got refilled, got my uh, cash pulled out from Bitcoin because right now Bitcoin is higher than it has ever been before. It's over $1,500 per Bitcoin. So that's pretty sweet. But yeah, I got my uh, lettuce wraps from Carl's Jr. Just ate those and it's raining. So I'm gonna head back to the west side. Hopefully traffic's not too bad. Well, unfortunately, while the technician was test driving my chair, he picked up a nail or a thumbtack or something in one of the back tires. I do have fix a flat in the tires, but I'm gonna have to change out the tube now, which is always fun. <laughs> Trying to get over to the pharmacy before they close. About 15 minutes left. I'm running dangerously low on nicotine gum. You may be wondering, why does he need nicotine gum? I mean, if someone told me that, first thought to my head would be, ah, another filthy smoker's trying to quit the habit. Nicotine itself actually isn't bad for you. And it's actually got some really good properties and uses for people that have neurological and cognitive disorders and other problems. For me, among other things, I have Tourette syndrome, which is classified as a movement disorder, which is why you'll see me make a lot of weird faces and sounds and just other strange things like that. But about 10 years ago, uh, a neurologist had told me that just nicotine itself can actually be pretty helpful for this. Well, at the time that was before uh, all the vaporizers and e-cigarettes and everything were around and they they had gum but it well actually they didn't really have gum they had lozenges that were kind of weird and patches but they were super weird and filled with a bunch of other drugs so i never really used them very much the patches would like make your skin all weird and stuff so fast forward to a couple of years ago the gum started getting a lot more prevalent one of my other doctors finally wrote me a prescription for the stuff so i can get it no charge and uh, I've been using it over the last couple of years uh, to help with the Tourette syndrome. And basically it's great because I don't have to take other medications and you know, the stuff doesn't really do anything. I mean, who cares if you get strung out on gum? You know, it's not like a, a drug habit or anything like that. But anyways, that's what that's all about. Well, I did manage to uh, get my nicotine gum refilled, but not after the usual verbal abuse that the pharmacists tend to give you. Problem is, they only let you refill your prescriptions every so often. If you try to do it early, they tell you too bad, you can't do it. They'll only give you like a small amount, and if you try to get more than that, they say, oh, we'll just, you know, come back and try and order again, you know, when you're running low. But you can't do it in enough time, because they say, oh yeah, well, we need to have like a week advance notice to do this but if they're only giving you enough to last like maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks, it's almost impossible to get them refilled before you run out. <laughs> 